Okay, so we're gonna stand up. And can we push the chairs back or to earth? Or we're good. And you're going to just walk around and fill your seats. So try not to walk in a circle. If you see that there's a concentration of people in one part of the room, fix it by going to where there aren't people. Yeah, you want to be kind of evenly distributed like air molecules. And I'm going to give you some prompts. And silently, you're just going to follow the prompts. So you are going to let your left hand lead your body. Wherever you go, your left hand goes first. If you turn a corner, your left hand is the first thing that turns. The rest of your body follows your left hand. Mm -hmm. You can play with levels. Does your hand want to take you down? Does your hand want to take you up into the air? You can play with speeds. Does your left hand want to go really fast? Is it turning you around? Does it make you want to go really slow? And you can relax and walk like you, just normal. Yeah, no. Okay. And now your right hip is leading your body. So wherever your body goes, your right hip goes first. Mm -hmm. Taking you backwards, turning. And now if you're maybe at like a a five, I want you to take that to a 10. So really, as far as you can without hurting yourself, stick that hip out and make it go first. It is dragging you around the room. It's not a great nice Yeah. And relax. Relax and walk. Walk, walk like you're normal you. And now the big toe on your left foot is leading you around the room. What kind of leader is that leg? And go back to neutral. Now it's your belly button. Great. And back to neutral. And it's your right shoulder. But now your right shoulder wants to go backwards. You're still air molecules trying to fill the space evenly. And back to neutral. Your left knee. Your left knee wants to go backwards. How does it do it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How can your left knee lead you backwards? And back to neutral. It's your nose. And if you're at a five right now, bring it up to a 10. Your nose is way out in front of you. It's in front of your eyebrows. It's in front of your chin. There is no part of your body that is in front of you. Your nose is the furthest thing. Your nose wants to go to the ground. If it wants to go to the ceiling, 